You're a nice person. I've never met you, but I just have a feeling you are. Anyways, I'm here to show you a simple Java program to calculate age. What is up? It's your boy, Alex, back again. On this channel, I make Java tutorials to help you learn Java every week. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. I am so tired. <laughs> you have no idea. But we're gonna plow through this. We're gonna create a new Java project. We'll call it Age Calculator. Hit finish, open it up, right click on source, go to new class. We'll say something like age calc. Hit this first check mark and hit finish. I'm just gonna get right into the meat and potatoes of this. How to calculate the age of someone based on the current date and the day, month, and year they were born. The secret sauce here is this something called period. So go ahead and type period. And this has a method that gets the age between a date and today. If you do a dot between like this, this is the function that will get the exact time difference between two dates. And that's what these two little parameters are. I think when I hit enter on that, um, this import statement came up at the top. If you don't have this, you need to put this at the top. This will let Java know that you're going to be using the period. So in order to use it, we need to create two dates. We're going to be using one called local date. It's a bit easier to use than the normal date. So type local date like that. And we'll say um, today. We'll get the date today. And I'll say equals new local date. Uh, hover over local date and click this import local date. And it's actually a bit funny. Usually when we um, use things Java built for us, we say a name, we name it something, and then we do new, and then that name again with some parentheses. But this is a little different. We have to type local date dot now. And this will get the current date, what it is today. Now we'll just set up a birth date by doing the same thing. We'll say local date birth date equals, and instead of doing new local date, we have to do local date dot of. Hit enter and it'll auto complete for you. I'm just gonna add a semicolon at the end. We're gonna add our years, our months, and our days in here. So say our years, um, we'll just use my birthday. My birthday was 1996. The month was eight, which is August. And the day of the month was 18th. So August 18th, 1996 is now stored into birth date. So to find the difference between the two, we just put them in this period dot between. So the start date inclusive looks like that one is the today. No, it's the, it's birthday. God, I told I told you I was tired. And the end day is today. You save it and run it, and it looks like nothing happened. Great, no errors is a good thing. But we want to see the years, like how old this person is. How old am I? So to do that, we have to go to the end of like what it got in between and then do a dot to see what we can do with that. And down here we can get years. You can also get the days in between a person and the months and all sorts of things, but we'll do years for now. I'm just going to store that into an integer. I'll just call it years and we'll just print that to the screen just like that, save it, run it, and we get 22, that's that's pretty sweet, that's correct. Let's um, let's make sure we know this is working. We'll print um, what today is, and we'll also print out what um, the birth date is, just so we know what's going on in the background. We'll save it and run it. Looks like today's date is January 7th of 2019. Um, my birthday is 1996, August 18th, and I'm 22. So you can do this yourself by enter entering your years. I can also do the months. I'm kind of interested to see how many months old I am. So I'll save and run that. Four? Mm -hmm. Interesting. So it looks like it's rounding from the eight to the one. September, October, November, December, January. So it looks like it's rounding down from the months in the year and not counting for the 
total months. Now I'm just gonna go over everything for you so it's a little easier for you to understand if I didn't do a good job explaining it. We got the current date and are using this thing called a local date. Next, we created our birth date. Then we used period.between to get the years in between those two dates. I'll just change that back to years. And we printed out today, the birthday and the years in between. And it worked as we expected. So try this out for yourself. It's been great having you. Thank you for watching. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. And I appreciate that. I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.